The 2020 season was one for the record books here at Jeanette as the Jayhawks added another trophy with a WPL title. They came up just shy in the state championship game as well. However, the roster has changed drastically during the offseason, hit hard by graduation, and even more drastically by transfers. Now Roy Hall entering what could be his final season at the helm will look to get his team back in contention. A shocking mercy rule victory against rival Clareton in the WPIAL 1A title game was the crowning moment for Jeanette. An injury to starting QB Brad Birch likely cost the Jayhawks state gold as well. Birch, an elite level sophomore, then transferred to Gateway along with older brother Brett in the offseason, however, seemingly opening the floodgates as a half dozen others followed. There's been a lot of players who have left either due to graduation or transfer. The roster size is a little bit down. How do you try to combat that? Next man up. We put everyone who left, we put them in the past and we push forward. Although Horn returns, less than a handful of starters are back and Coach Roy Hall has needed to recruit band members to achieve a serviceable roster size. With many of those players completely new to the sport, patience has been required, but senior Justin Shank is confident in that bunch. So how have some of the seniors or the coaches helped that transition process for the newcomers? Showing them the ropes, showing them how, how we get things done, showing them how aggressive our defense is, uh, attacking our offenses. So as long as they, as long as they keep showing up, we'll, we'll be good. They're ready. A two-way starter along the line. Shank will need to be at his best, as will Horn, who plays receiver and safety and could get snaps at QB. Another player likely to emerge is sophomore Peyton Moulter. Despite being the reigning champs, Jeanette will not be favored in the Eastern Conference, which includes the Bears and a loaded Greensburg Central Catholic team. But being the underdogs for once could benefit the Jayhawks. What are the goals that you and your teammates have set for 2021? We want to prove everyone wrong. 2021 appears to be the swan song for Hall, who has guided the team for more than a decade and whose tenure dates back to his playing days approximately 40 years ago. How important is it that you send him out on a high note this year? It's really important. He, he played with a lot of my family members. He, he taught my brother and my uncles. So I, I'm just glad that he got to t teach me, and I hope I can just ball out this season and have, have him have a memorable season. There's so much pride at Jeanette in the community for the sport of football. What does it mean to you to suit up for the Jayhawks? It means to me that this is like my family. I grew up here. I've been here all my life. Everybody's played here in my family. So this is this is honestly like a, a dream come true to stay here and keep playing here. And it's going to be it's going to be sad when he leaves, but we'll be good. Many of the newcomers will get their first varsity action in a week zero matchup against East Allegheny. Jeanette will also play non-conference against Ligonier Valley and Stowe Rocks before they begin the Eastern Conference action.